Information on security vulnerabilities can be found in many different places. The CVE list maintained by MITRE is a central repository with all vulnerabilities that have a CVE identifier. But there are more places where vulnerability information can be found. In the second part of the course, we will look at some more examples of where you can find information on vulnerabilities. Probably the most well-known place of vulnerability information is NVD, which is short for the National Vulnerability Database. NVD provides a large database with enhanced information on all vulnerabilities that have a CVE identifier. NVD and the CVE list are separate entities, but they have a close connection. The CVE list is maintained by MITRE, while NVD is maintained by NIST, the US National Institute of Standards and Technology. Still, both are sponsored by the US Department of Homeland Security and the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency. The information added by NVD includes the identifier, a severity score, which is called the CVS score, one or more weakness identifiers, which can be seen as a categorization of the vulnerability type, and a list of which products and versions that are affected by this vulnerability. We have already seen how the identifier is constructed, and we will discuss the other parts in a bit more detail later. Additionally, NVD collects and updates links to further information on other resources. This can be security advisories by the vendor, third-party analysis of the vulnerability, a patch to the software, or information or code that can be used to exploit the vulnerability. Though the CVE list and NVD collects much information, it might not be the place that made the initial disclosure of the vulnerability. It also does not collect all vulnerabilities, only the ones that have a CVE identifier. So there are reasons for also looking at other sources of vulnerability information, both to get a complete picture, but also to receive information on new vulnerabilities as soon as possible. The GitHub Security Advisory Database collects information on security vulnerabilities found in GitHub repositories. So this is specific for open source vulnerabilities and specific to open source that resides on GitHub. As a repository administrator, if you find a security vulnerability, you can create an advisory, which can then propagate to everyone that uses that repository as a dependency. This will allow them to update to a secure version. The advisory matches the CVE format, and if you request it, the advisory can also be given a CVE identifier, since GitHub is a CVE numbering authority. In that case, GitHub will publish the CVE to the MITRE database. This makes it very easy for anyone to report a CVE for a new vulnerability in open source software. Many GitHub security advisories have a CVE and can also then be found on NVD. However, there are some that do not have a CVE as can be seen here. Since the GitHub advisory database focuses on vulnerabilities in open source code stored on GitHub, it has advisories for several languages, such as Java, JavaScript, Python, Ruby, and so on. At the same time, there are initiatives to collect vulnerabilities for specific languages. One example is Friends of PHP, that collects PHP advisories in a GitHub repository. As can be seen, the vulnerabilities are categorized by the name of the packet, and there are quite a few packets listed that have vulnerabilities. Some of them also have a CVE identifiers and are thus provided also by NVD. The NPM software registry for JavaScript packages previously had its own database with user reported vulnerabilities, some with a CVE and some not. Since 2020, the NPM security database was merged with the GitHub advisory database. So NPM audit is now using the GitHub advisory database as data source. Similarly, NuGet, the package manager for .NET, provides a command to list vulnerabilities. This command is also using the GitHub advisory database as source. Another example of a GitHub repository that lists language-specific security vulnerabilities is the Python packaging advisory database. For Rust, there is also a similar repository with security vulnerabilities, and similarly for Go. In addition, the Cloud Security Alliance has initiated a project called the Global Security Database, GSD. This is an attempt to collect more information about vulnerabilities and providing it in a well-defined JSON structure. 
Moreover, the vulnerabilities in all these four repositories are collected in the Open Source Vulnerabilities Database. This is an initiative from Google to centralize information on open source vulnerabilities and to give precise information on which commits introduced and patched the vulnerability. Apart from the other four sources here, it also has information on vulnerabilities from OSS FUS, NPM from GitHub Security Advisories, and Maven, also from GitHub Security Advisories. There are of course also more scattered resources for vulnerabilities and security issues. The full disclosure mailing list is a mailing list for discussions on vulnerabilities and exploitation. Some findings are sometimes disclosed here before they are added to the CVE list, the NVD database and other places. Previously, the bug track mailing list had somewhat of a role to disclose and discuss vulnerabilities, but that mailing list was shut down in January 2021. Some vulnerabilities are also discussed on Twitter or online forums before ending up in other places. As you can see, vulnerability information can be found in several different places. Though NVD is often seen as the primary source, other sources must be used to get the more complete coverage. In the next part, we will look at how vulnerabilities can be exploited and some of the different tools that can be used in an exploitation.